Welcome to Right Foot Down, and this is an unboxing video of Haltex Platinum Pro Plugin, the plugin for ECU for the Nissan R32 and R33. As you can see, this is model number HT055101, and it comes in a white rectangular cardboard box. Nothing too fancy here. We do notice on the Opening side, we've got a packaging seal, more or less says do not tamper with it, and there's restocking fees. Well, we've already tampered with it because we've already opened it once before, just so I know what's inside. And we're going to go ahead and open this up. All right, so we have a custom harness connector in the back. This allows you to provide inputs of other uh, non haltech systems, uh, such as maybe you're gonna plug in a third-party wideband. I'm gonna be running an AEM wideband most likely, and I'm gonna use this connector to wire in the wideband into this and attach it to the Haltech ECU. Next, we have a USB cable. This is allowing you to connect the laptop or your computer to the Haltech for tuning. Straightforward. And now to the meat of what we're looking at. This is really what we all want to see, isn't it? This is the Haltech Platinum Pro plug-in ECU. And if we take a look at the, we'll call this the, we'll call it the front side. We have on the left, Haltech's built-in map sensor. So you would run a vacuum line through the engine bay, through the firewall, into the cabin and plug that into this you know, let me go ahead and open it up there. Better view, right? Ah, very nice. It has a metal case, nice finish on there. Kind of a semi-gloss uh, decal. All right, back on the back here. All right, so starting from left to right, we have the built-in map sensor. So run a vacuum line into the car, connect it to the map sensor here. Saves you a couple hundred bucks because you don't have to buy a map sensor of your own. It already has one built in, really nice. Next, we have the input for the custom connector here. So if you want to run your own, let's say, wideband, for example, or EGTs or something like that, uh, there's a number of different things that you can connect and input to the Haltech unit. So you would use that harness to wire it up and connect it in there. Next, we have a connector that allows you to connect to Haltech's other units, such as their display or maybe their own wideband, for example. Uh, and over here is, of course, the input for your USB cable for tuning. Flip it around on the back. All metal. The only thing that's plastic on here, besides the uh, female connectors, is the connector on the back for the factory Nissan harness. All right. So we'll go ahead and put this back in the bubble wrap. and set it aside. Next up, we have a quick start guide. So this is gonna show you more or less how to get this ECU, get the old ECU out of the car, how to put the new one in, running the, uh, the harness cable. Um, we have the ECU manager, a little quick overview of that. And this is the tuning software that you would use to tune the Haltech plug and play. And we have uh, you know, another picture of the ECU all buttoned up back into the cook panel there. And a couple pages later, we'll have a couple other things. Most importantly is your, <clears throat> your diagram for that input. So if you're, you know, I'm going to be using a wideband, which I believe is probably AV1 or something like that. Read through this and see which uh, connector pin you're supposed to use for those other um, inputs. Again, on the back for the CAN uh, CAN bus network, you can attach other Haltech systems, including their, um, their race pack dash. And last page is, of course, going to show you what pins you need to remove if you're going to run this ECU on an RB20 or RB25. And what aftermarket component would be complete without a decal. So here we have a Haltech engine management systems sticker as well as a CD, or maybe it's a DVD, it says CD. We'll go with CD. That should include base maps for Nissan's R32, if not more. All right, we'll go ahead and package this right back up. ECU in place, USB cable, custom connector. And there we have it. So that has been a look at the Haltech Platinum Pro plug-in 
ECU for the Nissan R32 and R33. Guys, if you like this video and want to see more unboxings, give this a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Please subscribe if you did. Let your friends know, and we will see you later.